write a single line of code that is from Pi Power Games import tic-tac-toe and by pressing enter of a UI UI will be presented so yes here is our UI and it's looking very awesome and fantastic you have to write your name you have to write your friend's name and just start playing the game nice Sometimes there occur some draw conditions, so you need to reset the game. Hello guys, welcome to Pi Power Projects. So let's begin to understand the code written for the famous game Tic-Tac-Toe. So in this code, we have firstly imported Tikinter, the famous library for accessing its many of its UI functionalities. We have specially imported the message box in order to display an important message or instruction to the user. We have created this root and we will set the geometry as per the screen size. You can modify this geometry as per your system screen size. We have titled this UI as Spy Power Presence Tic Tac Toe. Like this UI is titled with Spider Python 307. Similarly, we have titled our GUI with Pi Power Presence Tic Tac Toe. We have configured its background. We have set up a frame in order in which we could set up new frames and some of its functionalities. Similarly, we have created a label. In this, the UI will be first labeled with Pi Power Presence Tic Tac Toe. Its background color and font color is given. We'll be gridding it into the 0th row and 0th column. The main frame will be created. In that main frame, we'll be creating two frames. One main frame, in that we'll be creating a right, left frame, and one right frame. In the same right frame, we'll be creating two frames that is, right frame 1 and right frame 2. These two right frames are for maintaining a scoreboard. And another is for maintaining some buttons like new game and reset. Okay, these are the some defined variables which we'll be using further in the code. So these functions will be able to understand when we define the or create the label entries and the buttons in the UI. So let's directly jump where I created the buttons and the UI. So we have actually labeled player X with a label and it will be labeled as player x its background color its font color its font can be decided will be setting up it on the 0th row and 0th column similarly the entry of that player x would be in 0th row and 1st column the text player that is whatever it would be the score of that player would be displayed on the button side which is having Arial 26 you can modify it so this 3 is for one player similarly you can create it for another player so now we have created two buttons that is the button reset and button new game so here we have created button reset to reset the game once we have completed the game and then on clicking it you can reset the game that will the board will be cleared and the new game button is to playing a new game the names which you have entered will be cleared the scores which you have gained will also get cleared okay so now we have created nine buttons as tic-tac-toe is a three cross three board game we have created nine buttons okay in the left frame thus all over things were created in the right frame so the reset button and new game in the right frame too the label players of X and O will be created in the right frame 1. So after creating this, we have called a function in this button that is lambda function. So by using the lambda function, we'll be passing the clicking event on those buttons. So let's go to the checker function. Yes. So whenever the button will be clicked, it will be true and 
if it will be true and the text of that button will be nothing that will null then it will be converted to x and buttons will be configured and the click will be false it's like flag 0 and 1 this click is like boolean value true and false so when x it will be chance for o to click the button okay similarly when click will be false and the buttons text will be null then it will assign o on clicking so once it will x and another time it will be o so now every click of the button we must need to see the scoreboard that means whether the player after clicking the button has won the game or not so how we have maintained the scoreboard so we have globally declared pa pb player 1 player 2 in here so now whenever the button 1 2 and 3 this is the win condition of an horizontal row is the same button then we'll be con changing its background to make it see that this pattern has been followed and this user have won so we have just incremented the score we have first of all fetched the score we have incremented it with one and we have again set the new score so now we will be fetching the player's name and we will be displaying it in the message box dot show info that this player a have won the game and now the play will be continued by calling the reset function so what does the reset function does for us so reset function again clears the three cross three board and the, all the buttons will be configured again to white so the win conditions everything which was written on the three cross three board will be just erased so here are just eight in eight plus eight sixteen win conditions eight win conditions for x this is one two three four five six seven and eight so this is one for o win conditions for o one two three four five six seven and eighth win condition so after every win condition we have just reset the score uh, we, we have reset the three cross three board and now once you are satisfied with playing the game now you want to play the new game some another two players want to play the game so now you have to click on the new game button new game will already reset or clear the board and it will also reset the scores of your previously played games so we have just reset the scores of x and o to zero and we'll be again creating a text entry for new players to re-enter their name and similarly this code will run until and unless you close this by pressing the x button provided on the right hand side top frame okay so this is running actually into the main loop of the root created with the help of tk so in this fashion you can understand how we have actually written the code for tic tac toe so now let's run the code to feel how our gui looks now we have complete or finished writing the code for the famous game tic tac toe so now we'll be wrapping up this code into a library i've already wrapped up this code so in order to install that library you need to write pip install pipower games and it will be installed into your system so this is now as i've already installed this library my requirements is already satisfied now you have to just write a single line of code that is from pipower games import tic-tac-toe and by pressing enter of a UI UI will be presented so yes here is our UI and it's looking very awesome and fantastic you have to write your name you have to write your friend's name and just start playing the game nice Sometimes there occur some draw conditions So you need to reset the game By resetting the scores and name of the player will remain the same And for example if I am doing a new game Then my 
scores as well as the name will be cleared. For example, if I press new game, my scores will be zero and the names will also get erased. So you can another way you can type your name and begin the new game. Okay, so one problem which is related here is you cannot call these things more than once. If I again call this thing, then it won't work again. Let's see why. Because you need to, if I just call this, it won't work again. Because you have already loaded the library. So you need to restart the kernel. As I am going to restart every uh, console, would be restarting options will be given up there. You have to restart the kernel, you have to press enter and again your UI will be start working. Okay, so thank you very much. I would warmly request you to try this, to have a hands-on experience until you make it, until and unless you have your hands on the keys, you won't be able to get an exact idea what this code is actually trying to get. You could be able to handle each and every ex exceptions you will be handle every fonts and minute colors to your satisfactions hence thank you very much pi power team greets you at the end of video i would like to thank you for giving your precious time like and share our video on youtube and also do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any important video and any powerful project. We are also having Instagram page and Facebook page. You can also follow that for more updates. The codes, images and all other data used in this video are available on the GitHub. The link of GitHub repository is given in the description. So please do find and practice at your home. If you find any error and any difficulty in executing this project so you can join our whatsapp group and post your error we would like to help you there and by joining our whatsapp group you will become a part of pi power community thank you have a good day